so guys what did just happen with bitcoin look at this crazy sell-off guys i just woke up i'm looking at the chart and i'm seeing that bitcoin is getting wrecked guys look at this we just came down from twenty three thousand four hundred dollars from yesterday all the way down to about twenty one thousand three hundred dollars guys so a definitely a huge sell-off of approximately seven eight percent in about 24 hours if we are looking right now on coin market cap you can also see it guys everything is selling off right now bitcoin down about seven point six percent ethereum is getting wrecked and a lot of stuff is going down guys but i am using this opportunity right now and i'm trying to take a small scalp long position i will talk about that in a minute guys timestamps are actually down below but i would really appreciate that if you stick with me until the end guys because i will explain you exactly what i think will probably happen with bitcoin in the next couple of days and before we are getting into today's video guys if you want to trade bitcoin the link is down below for about four thousand one hundred and sixty three dollars in bonuses additional to your uh yeah to your deposit money guys it's a win-win situation for all of us on bitget as you can see guys i'm also trading most of the time on bitget and um yeah everyone who is actually trading on bitget will get a chance to win one thousand dollars completely for free so make sure to use this opportunity right now and otherwise if you want to trade on bybit guys the link is also down below for about four thousand dollars in bonuses so i would say let's take a quick look on coin market cap and let's see what actually happened in the last couple of uh in the last couple of hours on bitcoin guys so you can see that bitcoin is currently down about 7.5 percent overall market cap down about seven percent so that's definitely a crazy day for bitcoin today guys um we have no altcoins that are holding up right now so basically everything is going down altcoins are like getting crushed with about 15 10 percent sell-offs and most of these bigger altcoins like for example solana polkadot dogecoin xrp everything is selling off AVEX down about 15%, MATIC is down about 12%, so everything is going down right now. And um, yeah, actually guys, I have to say that, so I don't want to say I have, I am predicting always everything 100%. Um, but let me show, let me check real quick. So guys, look at my tweet, Bitcoin's high around 25K is probably in. Now it's time to test 21 to 22K. And look at this guys, what happened? Let's go, I posted this on my twitter account 5 yeah 5 p.m august 12th let's see guys i basically yeah i didn't okay i didn't call the top but somewhere around 25k guys i told you that the top should be basically in around 25k and we are going down to about 21k this is exactly what happened guys you can also follow me on twitter if you want to crypto dubai 7 is my name on twitter guys make sure to check it out and as you can see guys if you are looking right now on the chart bitcoin is getting crushed and um, i think it has basically to do very simple guys with um retail um leverage guys simple as that so i think a lot of people are over leveraged right now in the market right because especially ethereum holders ethereum buyers they are way too emotional right now every time i'm saying ethereum is going to see a pullback everyone is blaming my, me and everyone is saying oh my god you're so wrong bro how can you say that ethereum is going to 10k in the next four weeks and bullshit like that and um yeah i think they are getting wrecked right now especially people who are using too high leverage with about 50 or 100 x or so you can also see it on coin glass right here guys 90 percent long people in the last 24 hours are getting wrecked in total 163 million dollars only in the last four hours guys look at the last 24 hours 200 million dollars wrecked on bitcoin 10k in bitcoin guys and 140 million dollars wrecked on ethereum 25 million dollars wrecked on uh, ethereum classic solana filecoin dogecoin blah 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 so the point that i'm trying to make right now guys i don't think that this move is institutional money or stuff like that or whale sell off or stuff like that it's very simple guys people who are over leveraged right now especially in this range between 23,400 to approximately 25k are getting wrecked right now guys simple as that it's always the same guys so like i said i am currently expecting some kind of short-term recovery for bitcoin right because if you are going back for example into this price section right here right here guys let me check real quick right here so if you are going back into this price section guys you can see also on the vpvr this the, that is basically showing us where we have the most volume traded you can use it on bitget guys if you sign up with my link down below go to go to indicators type in vpvr and then you will see volume profi profile visible range you can basically use it for free 
on BitKit, guys. Like I said, link is down below. Anyways, you can see that below $21,600 is a lot of price action and also at the same time a lot, a lot of volume, right? So the point that I'm trying to make right now is that I believe we are going to see some type of short-term recovery on Bitcoin, all right? Short-term bounce on Bitcoin maybe to approximately $22,500 guys all right I think this gap right here will be probably closed this gap right here will be probably closed guys and I believe that we are going to see some type of short-term recovery of about three to four percent even even let's say let's say Bitcoin is going to make another lower low let's say around $21,150 also I think this will be just just another stop loss hunt guys right this will be probably just another stop loss hunt and i think with 70 percent chance we are going to see some price action like that for example guys this is my opinion the most likely scenario right now on bitcoin in the immediate short term with about 70 percent chance uh, probability probability guys all right otherwise if i'm completely wrong and you know guys i'm not i'm like i would say 60 to 70 80 percent i'm not wrong guys most of the time but i would say if i'm wrong and we are breaking below twenty one thousand six hundred dollars for example i think we could actually see another potential sell-off i would say of approximately um five percent also let's say yeah i would say like five percent maybe into this range right here around twenty thousand five hundred dollars or maybe be even 20 uh yeah like twenty thousand dollars guys right very important let me show you something and let me um try to explain guys why overall the trend is still bullish all right so if you are actually right now looking at this overall structure on bitcoin right in the one hour or even in the four hour let's let's stay in the one hour time frame real quick then i will uh, pull out the weekly real quick guys we'll talk about the weekly time frame so basically if you are looking right now at the bitcoin chart you can see that overall the structure is still bullish guys why okay i can show you real quick because if we are seeing a lower low right now successfully around bro what the fuck why so if you ask if we are seeing guys another lower low successfully uh, forming around twenty one thousand five hundred dollars for example all right like that you can see guys overall the structure is still going up so basically we are going in waves but towards the upside right and you can see guys if this will hold right now around twenty one thousand six hundred dollars you would still make another higher low right here higher low around twenty one thousand six hundred dollars and we could still con see a continuation towards the upside to about 25 26k guys right if we are able to hold this low because if you are going back for example let's go into the four hour time frame real quick guys let's go into the four hour time frame so look at this guys everyone who's not seeing it who's completely blind look at this guys don't forget to look always at the bigger time frame yo what what is wrong with bro how can i draw it the best oh my god bro um yeah let me draw it like that very simple guys so look at this trend line right here and then i will draw it like that so basically guys what you can see right now if you are looking at the bigger time frame you can see that overall the trend is still very clear in my opinion right like i said even if we are let's say going to see another uh, to another fake out to about twenty one thousand two hundred dollars guys i think we are going to see a potential short-term recovery and there is actually still a chance to make another higher high in this uptrend right here at approximately twenty six thousand five hundred dollars guys if we are really breaking if we are really breaking below this support area right here guys like i said a worst case scenario would be another sell off to about 20k maybe 19k even guys into this area right here and if we are going down below seventeen thousand five hundred dollars what i'm definitely not expecting then i will definitely go all in because i think this will be the biggest fake out ever guys all right so like i said in the immediate short term watch out for this support around twenty one thousand six hundred dollars this could be a potential long play but i will talk about that in a minute and if we are uh, going into the weekly time frame right now on bitcoin guys very simple if you are looking at the weekly right now yo fuck trading view bro this is why i'm using bitget guys shout out to bitget again this is why i'm using it because very simple i can use as many indicators as i want for completely for free the chart is clear everything is working well and then look at look at trading view bro like they developed this platform yesterday bro 
anyways so the point that i'm trying to make in the weekly time frame guys the, the problem is right now we just broke below the 200 sma line the weekly close is in approximately two days and 14 hours so let's say two and a half days right and if we are closing below the 200 sma line guys then we have definitely a problem right because if we are breaking and if you are closing below the 200 sma line somewhere around 22k a lot of retail start selling start panic selling and the worst case scenario guys would be like i said another sell off to about 19k or so so let's see how things are playing out overall weekly time frame on the rsi is still oversold around 34 right now so there is still a lot of upside potential in my opinion but for now let's just hope that we are closing above the 200 sma line around 23k guys and that's that for the weekly time frame and right now the most important part guys the s p 500 this is basically the reason why we are currently seeing a sell-off so let me show you real quick what is going on right now on the s p 500 mini futures so look at this guys we are currently looking on the s p 500 mini futures and what we can see right here is a cr is currently a, comp uh, a structure break below 4250 right so look at this we formed this potential um you can say basically bro head and shoulders pattern right and you can see this neckline around 4260 is getting broken right now in the last two hours and this is why also um the cryptocurrency market is going down guys so simple as that it seems like there are not enough buyers right now s p 500 mini futures topped out around 4320 like i predicted actually guys we made a perfect lower high right here on this descending triangle you can say and right now it seems like probably we are on, we are on the way down so if the s p 500 will continue to see a sell-off to see some more supply guys then the worst case scenario would be a potential uh, sell-off i would say of about one percent maybe to about four thousand 200 or so in the next couple of days and if the s p 500 is about to see a potential sell-off of about one percent this could mean for bitcoin guys very simple a potential second sell-off of about i would say three to five percent right into this area perfectly into our support area around twenty thousand seven hundred dollars right otherwise if this could be another fake out and there is also a chance for that if you are seeing some price action like that and the s p 500 will recover with about one percent then of course we are also going to see a lot of bullish price action on bitcoin so the point that i'm trying to make right now on the s p 500 we have to close above 4260 to see a potential continuation pattern like that and otherwise if we are breaking lower from here guys to about 4200 or so then we are probably fucked guys but for now let's take a quick let's take a look in the next hours around 4260 and let's see how things are playing out guys now let me show you real quick how you can potentially trade the next move on bitcoin and i will explain you exactly how you can make some money out of this volatile move right here because with volatility are coming possibilities guys and you have to take them doesn't matter if you're wrong or right you have to take them guys because there is not every day so much volatility and so much possibilities in the markets guys so what you can basically do right now is very simple guys like i said for me i'm expecting some type of short-term recovery so you can for example take a long like that depends on your trading style guys like always you can set your stop loss exactly below this previous low right here on the one hour time frame around twenty one thousand seven hundred dollars like that for example otherwise if you want to play it safe i would probably set my stop loss below this previous week around twenty one thousand and three hundred dollars and take my profits on the way up all the way to about twenty two thousand seven hundred dollars guys because this is, will be the range where we are probably heading into huge resistance guys right so this could be a potential long play otherwise if you want to short into weakness what i would not recommend not financial advice guys but if you want to short into weakness for example like that could definitely play out because i mean if you took a shot right here you made a lot of money right because most of the people actually took right here a long play that definitely didn't work out so basically if you're taking another shot right now let's say like that guys i will probably set my stop loss around 22k and go for a short something like that probably guys right but if we are looking on the bitcoin price in the one hour time frame right now for example on the rsi guys one of the most important indicators you can see rsi around 11 or 12 right now so i think we are definitely going to see some kind of strength in the next hours guys so this could be definitely a potential long play right now on bitcoin guys i will definitely make sure to keep you updated in about two hours or so again on bitcoin if we are finally getting some more price action and in that time guys like i said make sure to create a new account with my 
trending down below on bitget if you want to get up to four thousand one hundred and sixty three dollars completely for free after your initial deposit guys link is down below make sure to check this out and everyone who is actually trading on uh, with my link down below will get the chance guys to get up to four uh, yeah to get up to one thousand dollars also from my side completely for free guys so make sure to use this opportunity right now and with that being said guys also make sure to follow me on twitter crypto dubai 7 is my account make sure to join uh, <clears throat> make sure to join the free telegram channel link is also down below guys if you want to be updated about my videos about my live streams and everything and with that being said thank you all for tuning in guys and see you for another one bye bye